Hi everybody and welcome back to episode 17 in the Bitwig Studio Basics series. In episode 3 we talked about clip launching and arrangement and how you work more specifically in each of these views. Today is more on a philosophical level and we're going to talk about when and why to work in the clip launcher and why I would favor working in the arrangement view. If you have any tips and tricks for other Bitwig Studio users out there and you want to share your favorite way of working in Bitwig Studio, please let me know in the comments. My name is Matthias and yeah, let's take the tour. Right, so if you don't have a copy of Bitwig Studio yet, you can always grab Bitwig Studio via my affiliate link and use the discount code up here. It will give you a 10% discount on a full version of Bitwig Studio. Right, so this is the arrangement view of the Bitwig Studio. And if we press uh, tab, we will jump over to the clip launching view. And it's the same thing in Ableton Live. We can be in the arrangement view and press tab and go to the clip launching view. So they are very simil similar in that way. But to me, the major big difference between working in arrangement view and clip launching view is uh, when you work in the arrangement view, you uh, actually get to see the linear timeline of your track. So it all boils down to we know how much music we have produced. Because uh, all to the left here, we have the beginning of our track, the first bar. And we can check out this uh, the last bar here of this uh, specific track, it's at uh, bar 55. And we have effectively produced 1 minute and 58 uh, seconds of uh, music. So to me when working, uh, it's a very important aspect to know how much music you have written. It's a kind of psychological thing because uh, we all want to finish our tracks in the end. And uh, while we work in uh, clip launching view, of course, you can see all uh, all these clips, but you have no idea how long these clips are. And uh, yeah, we can see that we have different scenes. But in the end, we don't know exactly how long or short this uh, track is. But on the other hand, it can be very fun to jam around and try different song ideas here in the clip launching view before you burn them down, so to speak, to, to our arrangement view. But you can also mix and match these two if you want. So we could uh, have a few tracks uh, playing from the arrangement view and some of these tracks playing from the clip launcher. I can show that quite quickly here. So let's go to the beginning where we don't have too many tracks going on. And uh, we will have, say, the piano from, uh, from the clip launcher. And we will have the bass from the clip launcher and the rest will be from our arrangement view. Right, so you can see that some of these tracks are grayed out. They are a little bit more transparent than these others, which are more opaque. And that means that uh, these tracks are being played from the arrangement, while these more light gray or yeah, more transparent tracks are being uh, played with the clip launching here. So you can uh, mix and match these if you want. And then if you want to record, say, this uh, clip launching to our arrangement view, we just uh, Press the record and press play. Okay, so now we burn down the, some of these clips to our arrangement view, but you can see they are still in this more transparent color. But if you want them to be played from the arrangement view rather than the clip view, we can just uh, press this little, this little icon, which uh, it says switch playback to arranger. But you can also do that for all the tracks because maybe you just don't want to press all these uh, buttons. So we press this one at the top and bam, you can see that they all turn into opaque color, except these uh, clips here because they are 
just muted. You can mute clips in Bitbig by pressing Alt and A. So if you want to mix and match and blend between having clip launching clips and uh, the arrangement view working at the same time, I highly advise that you have this uh, uh, show clip launching uh, win window open at the same time so that, that you get to see which of these tracks are being played from the clips and which of these tracks are being played from the arrangement view. So that's uh, kind of how you, how you work with these uh, two different uh, views, if you will, at the same time. But bear in mind, if you burn down these clips to your arrangement timeline, it's no longer playing from the clips. So if you make any changes to these clips, if you play back from the timeline, the timeline will be intact as it was before. So if you want to make changes, make sure to make the changes within the arrangement clips when you have burned them to, to the arrangement, so to speak. Yeah, so for me personally, I work in the arrangement view most of the time because it just gives me a direction and shows me uh, how much of the track is finished. Okay, so let's take a listen to this track from the arrangement view. If you want to know more about how I actually created this track from scratch, you can go to uh, uh, the link, it should be up here and in the description to this video, where you can see how I produce these tracks from, from scratch. But yeah, let's take a listen. Yeah, so that's the track uh, Cambodian Dupont, which features this uh, really exotic instrument from which I bought, brought with me from uh, Cambodia. It's called Truche. And uh, yeah, if you check out that other video where we make this track, you get to see this uh, ethnical instrument in action. Yeah, so I really like to work in the arrangement view. I don't know if it's uh, because I'm an <laughs> old school composer or if it's just uh, the psychological aspect of... Uh, seeing and knowing visually how far I am into the production of this track. Because if I were to do and uh, yeah, create this within the clip launcher, maybe I would have this little beat going.
Yeah, so it's fun to jam around in the arrangement view, but uh, it doesn't give you uh, an actual uh, overview of how far you are into your song production. So for new composers, I highly recommend working in uh, arrangement view. Maybe mash out a few beats in the clip launcher, but move them over to the arrangement view so that you can see how far you are in your songwriting process. Yeah, so that's my personal preference and uh, the reason why I choose to work in the arrangement view most of the time. What's your favorite way of working in Bitwig Studio and Ableton Live? Do you work in the arrangement view of the, or the clip launcher? Uh, do you have any specific reason why you choose to work in the clip launcher? That's the whole concept for today. If you like this video, please uh, leave a like and write some uh, nice feedback in the comments section. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you know when I have new videos online. Okay, so that's all for today. Now you can continue and watch my next video. Have a real nice weekend. My name is Matthias and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.